Well, welcome back to Game Changers, stories of innovation from The Ohio State University. Now, you are essentially collecting history before it melts away. Is there any sense that it's going to be too late soon? Certainly for some glaciers, it's already too late. Mm -hmm. And for other glaciers, it will be too late very quickly. The ice on Kilimanjaro, for example, is likely to not persist for more than a few decades. Mm -hmm. And in fact, there'll be a time in the future when if you want to study the ice on Kilimanjaro, you'll have to come to the freezers at Ohio State because there'll be no ice on Kilimanjaro. In fact, one of the places uh, that we drilled in, in uh, 2000 is already gone because the ice is shrinking so so rapidly. Now, the word global warming, that term is, is thrown around by political pundits and all over the news, et cetera, et cetera. Explain to our viewers, what is global warming? To the layperson, global warming means it's warming everywhere on the planet. That's what people would think. Mm -hmm. But actually, what the scientists are talking about is the globally averaged temperature of the planet. If you could stick thermometers everywhere on the planet and then then measure those trends and then average them together, you would see that over the last hundred years the temperature of the earth has risen about three quarters of a degree centigrade. Mm -hmm. But there are places on the planet where temperatures have remained, in terms of the trends, have remained fairly uh, uh, constant with z almost zero trend. There are areas like the high Arctic, uh, uh, the Arctic Ocean, for example, and the land around the Arctic Ocean, where temperatures have risen two or three degrees centigrade. So some places are warming markedly and some are not warming much. And there are f a few places where the temperature trends have actually been toward cooling. But if you sum them all up, mm -hmm. the earth is warming. And the evidence for that is virtually unequivocal. For example, on a global basis, this past year, 2010, was th the warmest year on record. It was tied for number one with 2000. So 2005-2010, mm -hmm. the two warmest years on record, and the 10 warmest years on record have occurred in the last 11 years. How are we adding to this, or, or are we? And I say we, you and me, when we live in our homes and right. when we turn on the lights, right. turn off the lights, those types of things. The Earth system is very complex, and climate has changed over hundreds of thousands to millions of years on the Earth. Mm -hmm. Uh, but what's important today is that we have superimposed upon the natural variability of our climate system what we call the anthropogenic or the human produced uh, forcing, which is primarily the addition of these greenhouse gases or heat trapping gases. Mm -hmm. And uh, virtually so many of our activities uh, contribute to to this. We are deforesting, mm -hmm. uh, cutting down forests. Um, we're changing the nature of the Earth's surface. We go out to areas that are grasslands and we put up shopping malls and with asphalt parking lots. Mm -hmm. All of these things change the, uh, the energy flow within the Earth system. Well, up next, we'll find out what impact these discoveries have for all of us when Game Changers returns.